Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Hey, for those of you that have been with me for a while, you know what to do, hit the like button. Never stop, never stop doing the simple things, good people. It helps me. If I help you, help me, okay? <clears throat> and for those of you that are new, this is Stock Up with Larry Jones, all of us. All of us are stock up, not just me. We are the family. We love to be positive. We love to make money, right? And uh, we, those two things, positive and we love to make money, right? And we support one another. So many of you guys are, with your comments, I watch your supporting. Let me get right into it. For those that don't know, my format on Sundays is I talk about the market, which I am. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna touch on crypto and then I'm going to give my inspiration, okay? All right, so we had all of this inflation data that came out, all of this inflation data. Uh, we had CPI, we had PPI, we had the FOMC meeting, and we had a PCE, all right? And uh, we had jobless claims, okay? I cut the, the car off, so this thing is gonna close. I may have to cut it back on. So we had all of this inflation data that came that showed that inflation is yet cooling off all of that high inflation is yet cooling off and because of that the fed is going to start lowering interest rates as early as march of 2024 now we are in the santa claus rally right now the santa claus rally consists of the last five trading days of December and the first two trading days of January, 2024. So Friday was the first day of the Santa Claus rally, okay? Google that if you don't know what that is, right? Usually there's a bump up in the market. The market gave us a early Santa Claus rally uh, when the Fed starts sounding dovish and saying that, they may um, uh, decrease interest rates three times, and now some people are saying five times uh, next year, okay? So that's what's happening with the stock market, and um, I believe that it's going to be next week, or should I say after Christmas, remember, Monday the markets are closed. Tuesday will be the first trading day, so we're gonna have a short trading week. I believe it's gonna be choppy. I don't believe it's gonna be a straight up or straight down. I believe we're gonna have red days and green days. We may have some fake outs, right? So don't FOMO at this point on this week and don't uh, and don't panic sell. Those are the two things I wanna tell you that a lot of people do. There's a lot of tax loss harvesting. You're going to see volumes come down because people are enjoying the holidays, okay? It's just a lot of less trading going on, okay? And so the focus is elsewhere. There's more in this world than making money, right? But we like money. We don't love it. We don't love it, but we like what it does, okay? Uh, the love of money is the root of all evil, but money answereth all things. Both of those things are in the Bible, okay? So, uh, let's keep it going. Let's move to crypto. Now, because the Fed may start decreasing interest rates in March, let's move to crypto. What does that do for crypto? It has been shown that crypto does not fare well in or with high interest rates. Now that the interest rates are going to start coming down, then crypto has room to go up. Crypto has been going up. Uh, Bitcoin has been going up. I looked at my Solana, it popped up. I looked at my uh, um, uh, DOT, D-O-T, it jumped up. And um, uh, uh, there was another one that I, I, I'll be talking about later, but these are some of the things that are going up. Yes, I know some people, you know, you got these ADA Army versus the XRP Army. That's foolishness, y'all. Just get them both. I have XRP. I believe XRP will do well, all right? With spunk, spank, spunk, a monk, or whatever that coin is I bought some of, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, just to play around a little bit, but you know, my dot is uh, doing well. 
And um, I, I believe that XRP will also do well, all right? It didn't participate in the last run up. I believe it will on this one because of what? Because of the SEC, all right? It's more alphabets. That's why it didn't, all right? So that's what I think you could let me know what you think. Now, here's what's going on with the crypto miners. They are all overbought. They are, most of them have have passed their 12 uh their 12 month highs, okay? So they are surpassing Bitcoin greatly. Now, last cycle, they didn't start this early, okay? So they're all early. Now, remember yeah, we were rejoicing. I had the dancing uh, Grinches yesterday and all of that, having a little fun. But we must keep in mind that we cannot give up our gains, right? You're going to see a lot of these memes and you're going to see a lot of these pages coming out of the woodworks. They're going to be saying Sheba's going to $10, not even a half a cent. They're going to be saying all of this. They're going to be saying Bitcoin is going to $2 million in the next three months causing you guys to what FOMO have FOMO and just pile in and a lot of people will pile in at the top this happens every cycle I'm gonna be warning you guys I'm gonna be in you guys face I'm gonna be saying hey take profits for those of you that have the crypto miners I'm telling you guys do not have them without stop losses and some of you I I saw what four or five people that told me they were up six figures since following me. Y'all y'all been going in heavy. Six figures. You made six figures. Somebody said I made life-changing money, right? Now, now you need to protect that life-changing money. At least take out your initial investment, all right? And don't worry about it going up even higher. Now, we do know that as of now, the SEC is going to either approve or deny a Bitcoin spot ETF, okay? We do know that, right? Three major companies, you guys saw, look at the video from yesterday, okay? And so three major companies that they had a conference call uh, with. And so, you know, Kathy Wood's ARK investment is one, and BlackRock is another, and um, um, you guys leave me a comment what the third one is, I can't think of it, but it is how I started in uh, to purchase Bitcoin. I was a skeptic of cryptocurrency in 2019. I was a skeptic, but then I began to buy it on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, US Bitcoin on the US stock, stock Exchange through Grayscale. That's the third company, Grayscale. So when I was buying Bitcoin through Grayscale, it was multiplying faster than actual Bitcoin was. Okay. This was in 20, this was in 2020. And uh, and so for those of you that don't have a crypto broker, just know you can participate. And all of the crypto miners, which I have three portfolios that I've been sharing with you guys, they are all av available on the New York Stock Exchange, okay? So you don't have to actually buy crypto to earn gains from crypto. But again, I'm going to warn you guys, man, some of these borrow is so overbought and has been over overbought for a while. There will be a cool off. Now, generally there's a cool off from now until the having. When is the having? The having in crypto, and I'm uh, putting that chapter in my class, will, it's supposed to be, okay? It's not based on a date, but it's, it's based on the blockchain technology. And, I, and, and it's called the having, when you can only uh, uh, mine half of the Bitcoin, okay? And it, it, it's supposed to make it a, because it's a finite amount, it's supposed to what run up so we have a run up that's supposed to happen in 2024 into 2025 okay and so what normally happens with these crypto miners is there's a cool off leading up to the having and they have not cooled off they kept they keep running more and more and more and more and at some point you i want you guys to keep this in mind 
the SEC, Gary Gensler, could say no. And what do you think will happen to all of your earnings? So I just want to put that out there. He's either going to confirm or deny. Now, that date, January 10th, is when this is supposed to happen. That may or may not happen. So no one has a crystal ball. I, I have to tell you guys the good with the bad. But we could still make money because I also have a buy the rumor, sell the news portfolio with these crypto miners, which I will be out before December 10th. I'm gonna be out before December 9th because that way my buy the rumor, sell the news strategy has, has, has won me over 90%, probably 95%. And so why would I even run the risk uh, with that portfolio, okay? So I'm going to move on and uh, to my inspirational, okay? I'm in a, I'm in a parking lot, so I'm, I'm looking around. Uh, I'm here about to get some, some, some breakfast, late breakfast. I was at church today. Speaking of church, listen, let me tell you guys something. I know everybody's celebrating holidays. I'm gonna say happy holidays to you guys. Everybody's celebrating everything. I respect what you, you, um, are celebrating, I respect your religions, but I want to put this out there and I will not apologize for this. There is no Christmas without Christ. Christmas, Christ mass is the word Christmas. And so I'm saying Merry Christmas on today. Um, this is the day that we celebrate. We know, we know that this is not the actual date, the birth of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, who I um, um, who I count as my Lord and Savior and who I worship, okay? And I worship God, the Father, I worship. This is what I do. This is what brings me joy. When man is put in a predicament where you can't do anything, when, 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 when there's nothing else you could do and you're hoping against hope, there is a greater power than you. And that greater power for me is God and his son, Jesus Christ, okay? And if we had the ability to do everything, then there is no room for God, okay? And so we have to understand, always leave room for God. Always leave room for the creator because he's the creator, okay? Listen, what I really wanna talk to you guys about is do something for someone else. When Jesus was born, they brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So for those of you that don't understand, that says, oh, the Bible doesn't talk about money, there is nothing else more that the Bible talks about than money and wealth. The day Jesus was born, they brought gold, right? So now we don't worship money. I just want you guys that are super spiritual the, to, to have a balance in life. I'm gonna ask everyone that if I have helped you in any way to do something for someone else this Christmas season, that's what I want you to do. Do something else for someone else this Christmas season. I want you guys to take care of your, your mailmen that, you know, mail your mail, uh, winter, s snow or whatever. Your garbage man that, you know, make sure that your garbage is taken care of in the rain, in the winter. Man, my gar my garbage guy is, he's awesome, man. If you watching and I know he, I believe he watches, you are awesome. You are freaking awesome. Merry Christmas. And I, I'm gonna tell you guys, leave a little something for them. Think about the waiters and waitresses at these restaurants. Would you leave them a little something extra for a gift, you know, go somewhere and 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 order a, a twenty dollar meal and leave a fifty dollar tip. Let's let's say thank you. See, that is how you honor God. You could pray all you want to. If you don't love God's people, then you can't love God. And we have to take care of God's people. Try to make somebody cry. That's what I do every every year. I leave a tip. I leave a tip, multiple restaurants. Sometimes I'll get in out of my house and go. I'm not even hungry just so I can leave a tip because 
I remember when I couldn't do that. I saw a woman the other day, um, I was somewhere uh, and I'd get, I was at a restaurant and I saw, unfortunately, this this young lady being, it looks like her car was being repoed. And the cop came and took the baby seat out and put it in, my heart broke for her. But I went out there, I said, excuse me, officer, you know, I don't want no trouble. I'm just like, is there some way that I can help, you know, her, right? Uh, you know, at least you know, buy her a, a Uber ride home or whatever, do something. I remember wanting to do something and not having the means. And now that I have the means, I take great joy in doing stuff like that. Now, I don't travel with a lot of money. I have credit cards, but she just so happened to be right around a bank. And so um, um, I just ran to the bank, came back. You know, I tell you, if you are a blessing to other people, then that's how you receive a blessing. If you go through life like this, nobody can put nothing in your hand. You have to open up your hand and help somebody else and then God will replenish it. So in this Christmas season, I'm asking you to be a help to somebody else. Go to a ministry, go to somebody that gives out gifts and help them give out gifts and help them pay for it, okay? If I've made you any money, take some money, money out, Tuesday. Take a little gains out and do something good with it. Bless God's people. You have neighbors that have kids that are having a hard time, that don't have toys. Be a blessing to them. If you want to be blessed, be a blessing, okay? Don't just eat and take. That makes you greedy and stingy, all right? Uh, uh, you know, there's a song called Jesus is Love. If you want to show love, love is an action word, and let's put it to action, okay? I'm going to leave it right there. That's my inspiration. If you're going to love on somebody else, and love them with your words, too. If you're going to love them on someone else, don't just say you will. Leave me a heart. Leave, just leave me a heart and say, and that's my message. That's my sign that you're going to do something for someone else. Okay. I'm going to leave it right there. You guys know that this is sponsored by Stock Up You. It is the top link below. All of you that are, are in the class, you guys, I'm going to have some more, some crypto classes that's going to start hitting the day after Christmas. Okay. And, um, so, Hey, go ahead, download that link and, um, the, the price will be going up, all right? I love you guys. Remember, leave those hearts. Do something for someone else, all right? God is watching. Talk to you later.